Once again, Shalom, first and foremost. I want to give all the praises and the glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Give double honors to our beloved teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers pushing this one and true doctrine throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the 144 governing body of men and shalom to the, the hopeful elect of the one third of men, women and children. Forever, all the praises is given to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Aman, so be true, so be it. We need to be kingdom minded, kingdom minded. In order to fight through in these last days, these bad times, these evil times ahead, we need to be kingdom minded, right? Because so much is going on. Yeah? On the spiritual side of things, on the physical side of things, there is so much going on because this proves that we're at the end. But in order to fight these battles, we have to be kingdom minded. All right. Romans 12 verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Lord your power, our how the Lord our power, Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Be and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. By the renewing of the mind. Although we are in this world, we are not of this world. So we have to renew our mind daily and we have to think kingdom minded. We have to be kingdom minded, right? So I thought about this word. I went to the <clears throat> I went to the dictionary to Google the word realm. The word realm it says a kingdom. The defense of the realm. So in order to be kingdom minded, you have to be in a different realm altogether. Because we, Lord willing, we are not of this world. Because the Lord called us into this truth, as 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 as, as soon as the Lord calls you into this truth, you are in a different realm. You are in the world, but you are not of the world, right? So we have to renew our spirit every day through prayer, prayers, yeah, prayers and supplication, begging our heavenly Father. So this, the word is realm. R E A L M. The defense of the realm. Here's some other words kingdom, sovereign state, monarchy, empire. We have to think these way, this, this kind of way. This has to be our mindset. Principality. Ah, can I pronounce this word? Pal palatinate. Duchy, country, land, domain, dominium, nation, province, 
All right? The word is kingdom here. We have to have that sovereign state of mind. This is the different realm we have to be in. Right? In order to fight through these bad times, these evil times, which is coming. Because brothers are, are going through it now. You see, the, the more... The, 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 the Lord's chosen, which is the elect, because we're talking about the elect, the more they push, is the more these devils are going to push. All right? Because they see, they see that their end is coming. And the elect see that there's going to be a new kingdom to come. That realm wow we have to think that way that kingdom mind of thought because in the kingdom when lord willing if we have the elect when you get into the kingdom of heaven that is going to be the 100 percent pure realm the kingdom that's going to be perfection This is why we have to be renewed in the spirit. Renewed in the spirit. Although we are in this world, we are not of this world, but we have to try to daily renew, be renewed in the spirit. Right? That's being kingdom-minded. This is what's keeping us going. All right? John 17, verse 16. They are not of the world. Right, and that word is cosmos. Even as I am not of the world, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. What's the word sanctify mean? Sanctify, hallow, be holy, to render or acknowledge, or to be venerable, or hallow, to separate from profane things. And dedicate to the Lord our power. Consecrate things to our power. This is what we're doing. Dedicate people to the Lord our power. To purify. To cleanse. Externally. To purify by. Ex. Ex. Biash. No, I can't pronounce that word. Tongue twister. Free from the guilt of sin. Ex, expiation right to purify internally by renewing of the soul you see that's to me to sanctify all the way in this world we are not of this world because we are trying to sanctify our souls to be holy we are trying our best. We are trying our best. Let's go back. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through the truth. Thy word is truth. And these devils don't like to hear the truth. They don't like it. The more we push, they push double. When we push double, they push triple. That's why brothers are feeling very heavy. Heavily burdened in the spirit, in the flesh. Right? But we have to rebuke these, these thoughts, whatever's going through, what we're going through. The long suffering. As though has... As though has sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. So the only how we could be sanctified is through Yahweh Barsham Yahushai, through the word. All right? 
through this word. And this word is so evil and corrupt. They want to try to hide the word. That's why you watch right soon. Famine of the word has to come soon. It has to. Because there's so much they can push. Nothing can overthrow the truth. It is impossible. Nothing can overthrow this truth. So there's going to be a time. It's that tit for tat. The more we push, they push double. We push triple, they, they, they push quadruple. And there's going to be a time that they're going to run out. They can't continue fighting against us. Lord willing, well, fighting against the elect. They cannot do it. So they're going to have to soon, they're going to have to soon cut down the truth. Right? Which is famine of the word. They're going to have to cut the internet. Right? All forms of um, correspondence because they don't want anybody to hear. Right? And mainly they're going to come for us. They're coming for us. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. The truth, what is the truth? The truth sets you free. It makes you free. I'm paraphrasing. I always say it wrong. It sets you free or make you free. Yeah? Knowing this truth should make you free. But they don't want us. They want us to be in bondage. Ephesians 6 verse 10. And this is what we are fighting, right? In order to fight through these bad times, evil times, we have to be kingdom-minded, right? We have to sanctify ourselves, our souls. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We have to be we have to be strong in the, the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh No other God. Only there's only one power. All right, there's only one. The name of the Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh is a strong tower. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor this is why we have to try to be dedicated the best of our ability dedicated we need dedicated you're going full in whatever you put in right so to put in the whole armor we have to try our best what is given unto us we have to multiply it increase it the whole armor the whole truth that he may be able to stand against the wires of the devil. What are the why the trickeries? All of these trickeries. Yeah, the physical part counterpart and the, and the spiritual counterpart counterpart. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkest darkness of the world against spiritual wickedness in high places right and i was listening to our beloved elder apostle around up earlier right he went deep into it all right wherefore take unto you the whole armor the whole armor as Elder Apostle Rama said, the whole armor from the, 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 the head shield, the neck shield, the breastplate, the arm shield, the finger shield, right? The waist shield, the torso shield, the legs, the, the, the knee shield, the feet, everything, the whole armor. Because they are so desperate, they're going to try coming any other way. 
And that's what they try to do with us. They try to come in through the food. They're coming through the, your, your money. They're coming through your, your sleep. They're coming through your, your woman, your children. They're coming through the, the job. They're coming through what you own. They're coming through the food you eat. They're coming through every angle. That's why you have to put in the whole, the whole armor. So nothing can come in. Yeah? Imagine, even when you're sleeping, they try to, they attack you in your sleep. They attack us in all ways. We have to put in a whole armor, right? And this is it. We have to be sanctified. We have to be made holy daily, right? Be kingdom-minded, right? We have to be in that different realm. We have to be in a different realm realm altogether I said when you before you come into this truth you know people they know what you like no matter how nice you are when you come into this truth and you start to do the, the will of the Lord people start to see a change in you they see the change if it's gradual or quick they see a change in you because why? Because you're in a different realm altogether. You're thinking different. <sighs> Wherefore, take unto the, you the whole armor of the Lord our power, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Right? Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of, of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. It's easy about the faith. We have to believe. We have to believe. Because you remember, these spirits are they're working against you. And I know, <laughs> you notice the more you push to try to serve the Lord to the best of your ability, is the work, the more they come on you. Yeah? And this is why it's a beautiful thing with the when brothers are doing lessons and you watch the apostles, you watch other brothers, because they uplift you in the spirit. They uplift you. And the Lord is so beautiful. When you're feeling a certain stage, there's always a brother, there's always an apostle, there's always an elder, there's always a, 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 a bishop, there's always some brother in his truth that does a video and the Lord sends you at the right time just to watch that brother, just to uplift you, get you back going again. Come on, get up, brother, get up. Thawada Yahaw Basham Yahushai Basham Rakakudash Thawada. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Fiery darts. Just imagine you standing there and all these darts are firing at you. And they want to fire that, that major dart soon. The major dart is coming, right? All of this sh firing in these darts, there's going to be one major dart, all right? The RFID chip, they want to fire that dart soon. And we pray that's implemented soon because the sooner that comes, Lord willing, the Lord will help us through the hour of temptation. This is why we have to be kingdom-minded to keep us going. We have to be kingdom-minded. We have to be, think on a different spiritual realm. We have to be in a different way of thinking in order to get through. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts and is the darts have been hitting at you daily of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is 
the word of our power, the word. We need this word daily. We read the word, we hear the word. That's what I'm saying. When you watch the apostles come down, all brothers, lessons, videos, it's the word. It's keeping you in that circle, in that, that realm. To be in that, to be holy, to be sanctified. This is what we, 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 we fight for every day, to be out of this world. Because if the Lord is not of this world, we also have to be not of this world. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. All, this, all saints, right? The saints are the Israelites, only the Hebrew Israelites. No other nation. No other nation except the Hebrew Israelites. Those are the saints. The Lord's chosen people. <clears throat> and for me, that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in, in bonds that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. This is what it is. We have to speak boldly. And because the prophets are speaking both boldly, because what? They're the mouthpiece of the Lord. Because they're speaking boldly, Esau doesn't like it. They don't like it. That's why, Lord willing, that we see that this internet closes, man. Closes very shortly. One day, listen to this. One day, brothers, beloved, from our pastors, gonna come down, gonna go to camp. Lord willing, if we're still in the truth, you go to camp one day, and that will be the last time you're going to camp. The last day you're going to camp. One day when you log on onto your computer, right, or if you're gonna log onto your phone to do a video or lesson that would be that can well and be the last video you do because famine of the word is coming it's coming that's why we have to keep on speaking boldly speak boldly and again and according to the scriptures they said that some of us are going to be grabbed up yeah and you have to speak boldly the same way. That's why the Heavenly Father says, do not think, of, do not worry what you're going to say. When you've been taken up, paraphrasing, when you've been taken up to the judges, to the magistrates, can you imagine? They're not even the real judges. How dare they question the elect? Lord willing, I'm talking about the elect. How dare they take up the elect to question the, the elect? That's wrong. So this is where the Lord's going to jump in and help you. Do not be afraid what to say. Speak boldly. Right? Can you imagine being in that spirit? Can you imagine you're going to face death and you're going to speak boldly? That has to be a beautiful spirit that the Lord's going to put on you. And the trust and the faith. You just look in the eyes and goes, listen, just do what you're going to do. Do what you're going to do. Imagine having that spirit. That must be a sweet, beautiful spirit that you have no control. You could, the, the words come, just do what you're doing. Just do what you're doing. We beg our Heavenly Father to put the spirit on us in that time. This is why we try to best to be holy as possible, separate, sanctify our souls the much as possible. When that time comes, right, we don't worry what to say. You become bold as, an, uh, as, a, uh, as a lion. The 
Imagine the Lord prepares you for that time. He prepares you. Right? Prepares the way you think, the way you move, everything. The Lord prepares you. And that's the elect. And so we talk as we are the hopeful elect. Right? But this is for the elect. Philippians 4 verse 4. 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Rejoice. And I tell you this for a fact. Yeah? I tell you this. You see the elect? When they're in that realm and they look back and they think, wow, the Lord has been with me all the time. We should be rejoicing. Rebuke these evil spirits. Physically, spiritually rebuke them. Because when you look back, you're going to say, wow, I had this this magnificent power behind me and I wasn't rejoicing. I had this tremendous, exhilarating, powerful, extreme, the most, uh, most, most high power behind me and I wasn't rejoicing. Even when I was going through hell, rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice let your moderation be known unto all men the Lord our power is at hand all right the Lord our power is at hand and we pray soon right we pray that the elect is sealed because once the elect is sealed in it that's it once the elect are sealed that is it Because the Lord our power says, you know, he's not going to come until everyone has heard. Everyone has heard. The Lord is a fair power. He's long-suffering. So in the meantime, we have to suffer long too and wait upon the Lord. We have to wait. All right. Oh, this one more here. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto who? The Lord our power, Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Our request. And the peace of the Lord our power, which passive all understanding shall keep your hearts and your minds through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach this is what it is we need to keep stable we have to be kingdom minded we have to <laughs> we have to be in a different realm altogether finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. So we have to think kingly, kingdomly minded, yeah? We have to be. In order to fight through these last days. All right. Demons are going to mess with you ten times more now. The more you draw closer to the most, the Lord our power, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, is the more demons are going to attack you. All right. Shalom.